Hi, my name is Jaime Garza. And my name is Peter Valle, and welcome to Urban Canvas, Pilsen's economic renaissance. Thank you so much for being here. I want to explain a little bit about ESDC and what we do. Uh, we're a local Pilsen nonprofit, uh, helping out entrepreneurs and businesses to get established and to grow and to continue to have a Pilsen presence, uh, not just here in Chicago, but all over the world. Uh, just a little bit about ESTC. Well, we are an economic development, uh, not-for-profit organization. And what we do is uh, we help small businesses and uh, we start with uh, entrepreneurship at its core. And we have different counselors that can help you out in different aspects of beginning a business. Uh, we also have various projects that we initiate throughout the year in order to help small businesses in the neighborhood of Pilsen and beyond. The organization has been around for 47 years and throughout its history, it's been helping out at different aspects of a business doing in, in the Pilsen area and around Chicago. Um, a, a lot of the initiatives that we have include uh, special events, uh, ribbon cuttings, also entrepreneurship uh, workshops, and also pairing up uh, counselors for, for certain services that businesses need. So the entrepreneur co cohort, right? We've had it for how many years now? This is the, the second year uh, that we've had the cohort. We have 14 students going through a 14-week program uh, teaching them about uh, finances, about market research, and also about just to how to get established, uh, learning from like professional counselors that are not just in Chicago, but really all over the world. Yeah, and it's probably a real super costly kind of program uh, where, as we're, we're offering it for what, free, right? Yeah, the cost is free. Uh, we hand chose every student that, that, that it is in the course right now. They're about halfway done. And one of the things that we did last year was we, we had this cohort and it was completely in Spanish. So for all the Spanish speakers or that English wasn't their first language, we had this cohort uh, pairing them up with professionals from a lot of different industries. And they had the graduation in July and they were super happy. And right now they're, they're starting their business or they're growing their existing business. This year, uh, our students are, th the workshops are in English. And so we handpicked uh, from the applications who was the most ready to take this, uh, to be in the, these, these classes. Uh, the classes happen once a week and it's about 14 weeks and we do a really nice graduation at okay. the end of the course. Um, and also, not only that, but we also support them once they start building their business, once they're ready to open. We help out with either marketing or market research, or we also help them out to fill out paperwork for, for loans or for funding. So that speaks to the fact that we help entrepreneurs from the very core uh, when they start their business, right? Yes. Um, and and it's, we really teach people to uh, dig into their passion because we believe that only by passion you could be selling or providing a service that that really um, fills your soul, fills your person, and that you also be good at it. Okay, well, we and we have a lot of services and a lot of uh, resources uh, to to help people start their business. Um, I know that we have uh, one person who might do like market analysis uh, to see if your business is viable. I know that if you want to uh, open, for example, a restaurant, you're going to need licensing. You're going to need permits. Uh, you're going to need to understand uh, what entails uh, to open those doors uh, the first day and have your kitchen fully operational. We have someone who can help you with your licensing and your permits. And then uh, we also have someone who can help you determine like what kind of a company are you going to have? What is a corporation? Is it an LLC? Is it an S Corp? And, uh, and that person helps you not only with that, but also what the taxes are going to look like and, and what your book should look like. Yeah, so, so throughout the year, we have uh, various workshops as also the cohort, but we also have a lot of initiatives um, and special events in the neighborhood to kind of showcase uh, the talents and the, really the, the 
magic that that pills in the neighborhood has um and you know the uh what are your favorite events that we that we feature or, or initiatives well uh, my mind goes first i'm a foodie so of course buen provecho which is the taste of pilsen uh i know we had uh al almost 40 restaurants uh participate in the in the september yeah so we have in uh in mid-september we have the buen provecho taste of pilsen uh, featuring restaurants giving tastings to new new clients that that could well, okay, that could become their clients um, giving out a taste uh, of just you know their special recipes usually it's a small taco or mm -hmm. it's a chicken wing or sometimes it's a it's a drink that they that they uh, specialize in um, you know we have over four or five hundred people walk around all over Pilsen um, you know, kind of going restaurant to restaurant to have a tasting. Yeah, and I think Pilsen's very fortunate because we have so many restaurants, uh, you know, a lot of different kinds of uh, cultural foods are here, um, not just Mexican, but we also have a Puerto Rican restaurant. Uh, we have Asian restaurants. Uh, we have fine, fine restaurants. Um, we have excellent coffee shops. Coffee shops. We have, we have a few coffee shops, mm -hmm. not just one or two. We have a few. And, you know, they each offer um, uh, different kinds of aesthetics for people who come in, you know, like some, some, somebody might like uh, a, like a vibey place or they might go to La Malinche or they, if somebody wants to uh, go in and get some food or they might go to Cafe Jumping Bean. If somebody wants to uh, go somewhere where maybe it's kind of trendy, Cup of Joe. So, you know, different aesthetics are provided by the different uh, neighborhood coffee shops. Uh, we also, uh, other uh, events that we do, uh, we have a bi-monthly networking event where we invite uh, local businesses, local entrepreneurs, uh, uh, managers of, of businesses to come in and really just kind of uh, hang out, get to know, uh, you know, the whole point of the networking is to create a, a union between uh, business owners to have this um, this unity in Pilsen to 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 let people know from outside that that Pilsen is a united uh, neighborhood that we're also informed of uh, at the networking events we also inform them inform people of uh, resources and and opportunities that that are offered to us or by us either either being grants or e being workshops or just you know letting the the business community know about our initiatives our events and just how we what we're doing to to kind of highlight the neighborhood and i know that every networking event that we do also has kind of a program so for example uh we we just came from a networking event uh, uh yesterday and uh the theme was real estate and taxes um, so we, we also bring people in to kind mm -hmm. of like give a speech or kind of like uh, have some kind of programming where they can benefit by learning something about what's going on in the neighborhood. Yeah, so, so you know, uh, new businesses are, are popping up in Pilsen and we try to uh, come and support and also create a community around them. So uh, Guaranteed Rate, they, they opened up a few months ago and the, the event was awesome. Uh, you know, we... We had like local foods from uh, Frida Room. We had some drinks from a big star that, that's opening up hopefully later this year. Uh, they'll open up their tap room over on, on 16th Street. Uh, we also had uh, Adriana Rivera from Five Star. They do taxes for individuals and for businesses. Um, yeah, so it was, it was really a good time. Yeah, and I got to meet some really interesting folks there. And... Uh and, you know, I got to talk about what's going on. There were also people who were from outside of Pilsen, but that because they work within Pilsen or because they work with certain companies in Pilsen, they heard about our networking event and wanted to come in because I know a lot of people uh, know that Pilsen has a very diverse uh, um, collection of businesses. And, and there's great opportunity here for people to come into the neighborhood and work with people from the neighborhood. 
Yeah, I mean, Pilsen has always been a hub for for uh, workers, right? Um, in the 50s, 60s, you know, uh, uh, Mexican immigrants were 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 f putting the foundation that, that we're on we're on now, and I think the art and the music and the the, the culinary, I think, has has helped shape Pilsen into what it is today, a really eclectic neighborhood, uh, uh, sought off. Uh, you know, people just want to want to be here. It feels good to be here. And um, and what we you know we're supporting these businesses that are that are um, opening up or that they're growing. Well, now that you mentioned music and culinary and art, so we at ESTC we consider uh, artists to be small businesses, and so we also support uh, the artist, whether it be musical or it be um, um, a painter or muralist or even culinary, because culinary, let's face it, people, that is art. That is uh, a creation and a, uh, a reflection of a person who's cooking uh, what their expression is in the food. Yeah, so throughout the year, we either provide workshops or, or create opportunities for, for all, all kinds of artists. You know, it could be visual artists or, or even uh, musical artist. We have the Christmas window uh, walk. Yeah, one of the things we do, the, the, the Pilsen Christmas window walk, where we have over 25 storefronts lend their windows so that artists, mostly local artists, could decorate and, and feature an, a, a service or, or an object that the, that the store sells, but also show it in, in a artistic way you know, um, kind of reflecting what Pilsen is, um, and we and so there's opportunity for the business and also for the artist. We also um, try to help out uh, financially these artists and and these uh, businesses where we create kind of a um, a voting uh, a voting session so that people could go into this QR code, vote for their best the the most interesting storefront and you know the first prize second prize and third prize are cash prizes and you know just it, it just kind of gets everyone excited about it yeah and uh, and we also we could measure how su successful uh th this event is and we've we've had it for four years now so it's been very successful yeah and I, one of the things that i like about the christmas window walk is the pairing of the artist with the uh, the small business, and what ends up happening is is because they can both win money. So it's not just the artist who's going to win the cash prize, but it's also the business that wins the cash prize. So you kind of we're kind of forming a partnership between the artist and the small business, and that's something that can translate into something long term. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also something that's unique, uh, I think, to Pilsen because we pair uh, local artists with local businesses. And so we are always introducing people to each other, whether it's a networking event or the Christmas window walk, mm -hmm. or even when it's, you know, uh, Buen Provecho and you have all of these patrons, um, a lot of them are local, but then you're also introducing the outside world to these uh, small businesses here in Pilsen. You know, I, I think it's win-win situation all the time. Yeah, and another initiative that ESDC does um, is the Pilsen Barrio Magico which uh, Barrio Magico means uh, magical neighborhood. And this is new. This is something that, that is being launched currently. Yes, we, we worked on the Shop Pilsen uh, campaign so that people are aware of what shops and what Pilsen has to offer, uh, either be food or vintage shops or even record, record stores. Um, but, but now with this uh, Pilsen Barrio Magico, we kind of put it all together with the Shop Pilsen and we're, we're uh, launching this uh, initiative and trying to get support from, uh, from uh, local electives, uh, senators and state reps. And eventually we'll, we're gonna, we'll be shooting it over to, to the mayor, but uh, the alderman is also behind it. Um, so supporting this neighborhood as a magical neighborhood uh, has, has a few things. Um, one thing that it, it, it um, kind of lets you know that 
it's it's seventy percent Mexican, which uh, barrios uh, uh, pueblos mágicos over in Mexico they kind of designated a, a town, complete town that they were magical. We're saying that this is a, a magical neighborhood, so we're doing a few things. Um, and just because of the art mm -hmm. and the culinary art and, 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 and the music and the murals, uh, we find this place very interesting and, and very magical. So one of the things we're doing is these five-foot letters that say Pilsen um, so that it's like a, a, a place where you could you know, take a picture or you could just kind of take it all in with a, the with a, with a display of these Pilsen letters. We're also, um, you know, beautifying the neighborhood, you know, make, making sure that we're connected to, to uh, uh, cleaning campaigns. And also, uh, um, for Christmas, we, we decorate the poles all down the main, the main strip of 18th Street. Um, so there's a lot of initiatives behind this Pilsen Barrio Magico. Uh, which it will be launching, you know, in the in the next uh, few weeks. Oh, you heard it. You heard it here first, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you could go to um, pilsenmagico.org and uh, find out, you know, all the details, all the information uh, w when all this is being established. And this is something that's, uh, you know, continuing, right? So it's something that's been going on, but it's also something that's going to continue and it's going to flourish. Uh, it, I, I think you could see behind us. Uh, the letters oh. that we're talking about, These and uh, you know, um, I think the letters do convey uh, the the personality of Pilsen. It um, it showcases um, how artistic Pilsen is, how vibrant Pilsen is, and how forward thinking Pilsen actually is. Yeah, one um, another thing that we do is. Um Mole de Mayo Festival. I mean, that's the big thing that we do, right? Which this is the 15th annual, so we call it La Quinceañera. Um, you know, it, it, it's a festival that started over 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. We skipped a few because of the pandemic. Um, right. We, you know, it, it's, a, it's a food festival, but it, it has so much more than 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 uh, food. It has it has music. It has art. It has uh, vendors. It has ice cream, and it has all kinds of stuff. And it's a true it, family festival. Yes, it has uh, lucha libre, which uh, let me uh, so that the people that don't know what mole is is a thick sauce that's usually poured on top of a chicken or rice, um, but now it's kind of poured on top of even tamales. And tortas. Yes, I've had uh, tamales. <laughs> so it's just a you know family friendly event that started off really small uh, years ago. Now it's grown into a three day festival, uh, full with uh, two stages, live lucha libre, and um, over twenty four restaurants feature their their homemade mole, and these are recipes that 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 some of these chefs had been holding on to for 50 or 100 years. Um, so we thought, what better than, than to have a mole festival since it's, 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 uh, the rest, these recipes are straight from Mexico, um, but that are now being created or recreated in a Chicago style, Mexican sure. style. And, and every family has a very unique mole. So some are spicy, some are sweet. Um, some are green, some are red, some are even very dark, uh, uh, dark red, maroon. Um, but it's a delicious, delicious um, uh, um, sauce that, that, is, that is put on, on all kinds of food. Um, and so we celebrate that culinary culture that we, we have, but added the live music entertainment, right. which is, which is uh, heavily uh, Latino, Latino talent. A lot of lot of uh, local artists, local musicians, local singers, and and, and musicians, uh, you know, perform there. Even like dance groups, folkloric sure. dance, even uh, Mexica Aztec dancing happens to kind of bless the space that that we're that we're using, um, and also vendors. So there's a lot of also like people that make hand crafts either earrings Artisans. or, or, or um, necklaces, uh, rings, and all that kind of stuff. It's a three-day festival. It's a lot of fun. We'll be talking about it also in our next episode. 
Um, but yeah, it's a it you know you could you could find more information at uh, moledemayo.org. Uh, you just kind of find out the, the the stuff that we're working on. Now, just circling back to the mole and the cooks, so uh, we understand that it's not only a chance for uh, restaurants to showcase their mole, but it's also a competition. Yeah. So every every um, we have a, a the two, two trophies. One for the best mole, and one is the people's choice. So people get to vote for their best mole, for uh, for that restaurant or that chef to have bragging rights for the whole year as the best mole and the people's choice mole. So I'm really excited that we're going to talk about this the next time. We're going to get in depth. Uh, having done it for 15 years, ESTC really knows how to throw a good festival. And I think the fact that it's fun for the whole family and the fact that the music is local, uh, it showcases not only the neighborhood, but also the city of Chicago. And let's not forget, we are the first uh, festival to kick off the summer. And so I think that people are ready to get back outside and people are ready to hear music and, and, and be with each other again in a, in a neighborhood setting. And so I guess the next time that we uh, appear here, uh, we'll be talking more about Mole de Mayo. Yeah, it was such a good time. This is our first show. Yeah, and, yeah um, this was great. This was fun. A lot of fun. We'll be giving out a lot of information in the next uh, few shows. Stay in touch. Uh, check our website. Check our events. And come and say hi. Yeah, you can visit us at esdcchicago.org. And, uh, and you can find us in Pilsen at 1843 uh, West Carpenter. Thank you so much. I'm Peter Valle, and this is Urban Canvas. My name is Jaime Garza. Thank Thanks you very much.